Yeah, I guess it's been a bit of a blessing. Um, I think for anyone I, in AFLW, you spend the off season is so long, and it's not like you're sitting around doing nothing. You're sort of just training as much as you normally do without the support and resources of the club around you all the time. So, um, yeah, the short turnaround's been good from that point of view to be back in at the club. Uh, with coaches and physios and that kind of thing um, with us. So grateful for that. But, yeah, from a um, team point of view, bouncing back from the grand final, it was good as well. And the initial hurt and disappointment that we all processed in our own way when we had a bit of time off. But to get back together and then be so focused on what we're doing right now and looking ahead uh, was probably a good thing for us. In the initial aftermath, like, yeah, sit down and have really good conversations as a group with Mick. A um, couple of club functions that bring you back together um, in the couple of weeks after. But then, you know, we did a bit of work unpacking it um, from a mindset point of view and a game style point of view, both with coaches and our team psych and that kind of thing. But everyone's different with the way they deal with it. I think it's just, yeah, take every opportunity to learn and get better and go from there. It's not too dissimilar to any footy season, really. That's always the aim is to just keep getting better and finding a way unless you've won it. So... Yeah, it's not too different from how we've usually treated most off-seasons and that opportunity to learn. Probably just trying to um, get better from a, a game style point of view, but then I guess have the resilience to perform at your best more often and in all different scenarios, um, be it what different teams will throw at you or different venues and different scenarios, like you know the pressure of grand final day, all of that. Um, yeah, it's been it was a good experience. So you want to learn as much from it as you can.